Hey all of you. Hi. Since I got these pierced and this pierced recently in those videos, which uh, you may or may not have seen yet, loads and loads of you have been asking me questions about piercings and asking me what other things I've had, which things have hurt the most, what would I like to get, etc. So I thought I might as well just quickly cover that today. The other thing that a lot of people were commenting about after after I put up those those piercing those piercing videos was like why didn't anyone see me get this one done the vertical labret in the center of my lip which I as you can see it is not in there at the moment because I have had that piercing for 10 years and <laughs> yes 10 years and I'm always losing the jewelry for it as you can see I have recently received new jewelry for it and it's already gone just like one ball came off and I couldn't find it <sighs> basically like I've had that central lip piercing for you know the one that goes straight through your lip, a vertical librette like I wish I could show you but I can't <laughs> you'll see it in other videos I'm sure and pictures and stuff had it for 10 years and that was the first sort of interesting piercing I got if I recall rightly it did hurt quite a lot lips are very sensitive I found that that was a lot more painful than getting these librettes like snake bites or whatever. The lips are sort of soft and sensitive and have a lot of nerves in them and a lot of blood and I don't remember it particularly if it bled a lot but I do remember it hurting quite a lot. You know honestly I can't remember which one I got done first. I got one of these pierced and it gushed blood and it was on a crooked angle and I just think the person who did it wasn't very good. Honestly I think that's all there was to it. The person who did it for me wasn't very good but that didn't hurt very much at all like obviously I, I guess there must just be fewer nerves further down here it's not a sensitive an area so it wasn't that bad at all really just you know kind of like hot ouchy but not that bad but this other one the other one done six years later like I was originally going to just go get snake bites but because that one gushed out blood so much and the woman did such a shocking job it was like Maybe not today. <laughs> yeah, I just sort of didn't think about it and then six years later I went and finally got the other one done and I thought, nice, now I'm symmetrical. After that was my like, I don't know if you can see, industrial? Industrial bar, you know these ones? I don't know if you can see through my like insane hair. You know these ones? The ones that like everybody has? I like this one because it's got like a little skull and a cross dangling off it. That hurt heaps. Average <laughs> piercings, ow, they hurt a lot. Getting your earlobes pierced is like nothing. Well, <laughs> I was four years old when I got my earlobes pierced, so I don't really remember the experience. It was done with a gun. Earlobes are the only piercing that should be done with a gun. If any piercer comes at like any other spot on your ear with a gun, tell them to GTFO so that they can damage your cartilage. Not everybody's cartilage enjoys having holes poked in it with great big thick needles. Sometimes you'll get like a keloid which is basically scar tissue just kind of goes and I've got one of those unfortunately it's not that big but I'm just kind of used to it now so cartilage piercings really hurt I remember the industrial hurt quite badly but what was less pleasant was having to sleep on it for ages until it healed and I think it took quite a long time to heal because you know you lie on that side and it's like Nyah! you have to sort of you know stop yourself from rolling over for quite a long time onto the onto the side where you have it pierced. Even years on, sleeping on the bar can be quite uncomfortable. Like I find it, it digs into my ear, it digs into my head and stuff and it's a bit of a nuisance. Like I said, I got my ears pierced when I was four years old, but I stretched them out kind of on a whim ages and ages ago now. Like I never really wanted to. Like I have one that's eight millimeters wide and one that's 10 millimeters wide. The process of stretching them was pretty unpleasant because I had a job where I was not allowed to wear jewellery, I worked in a bakery and I was having to take them out every day, take out the tapers to go to work and then shove them back in. Oh, so that was quite painful and bleeding. Apart from the fact that I had to keep taking the tapers out of my ears, the actual process of stretching your ears doesn't really hurt. Just try and push it through a little bit more. I had like a hook shaped, hook shaped ones I remember and I used to hang things off them <laughs> to help help the process. I used to hang like my keys off them and that, which was good because I also didn't lose my keys. You probably also saw that on this ear, I know ear piercings are not massively exciting. This is probably one of my favourite piercings ever. I have this yellow pierced sideways, you can see it sideways. It's called a horizontal lobe and they're a little bit different and I've often thought I should just go along and get another one because it's just so cool and I, I don't know, it's always been my favourite piercing, I think it looks really cute. I don't know why I'm bothering but I'm sort of trying to remember what order I had everything done in, I don't think that really matters. The other piercings I've had, apart from the one you can see, <laughs> I got my nipple pierced on a whim, I was quite young and it hurt so much. I've heard that it 
hurts more, am I right? I've heard that it hurts more if you have small breasts or if you're a man. The initial feeling was like, it has a lot of nerves in it, it's pretty sensitive. It's weird because oftentimes after you get a piercing your body goes into this weird kind of like mild form of shock where you stop feeling pain. I'd walk out of the studio going, oh, yeah, it actually feels alright, it feels alright, it doesn't really hurt. And then after about an hour or something the pain would kick in and I remember walking around the city all day. Ah! <laughs> ow! 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 I don't know, I have quite... I have large breasts and it hurt me so if it hurts people with small ones more I can't imagine it must be pretty bad. A few years later I got the same nipple pierced again but vertically so like like a plus so there's like maybe it's TMI but there's like there's two in there and I just always thought that, that looked really cool. That hurt a lot <laughs> but the guy didn't use clamps it was kind of a, an, an unusual technique for piercing and it was a lot more pleasant that way. It did hurt less than it would have done if he'd had used clamps. It took a long time to heal and do not recommend. Do not recommend. <laughs> as for these ones, which I think, you, like as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble with them. They keep getting quite irritated. As you can see, they look a bit red. But really, they're doing okay. And you might have heard me say that I've had these on four times now. Sort of, here's the story. Here's what happened. Maybe about... Eight years ago, I first went and got surface bars put in just further up here. So surface bars like these ones, like an actual long like staple shaped bar that goes under your skin. We have those put up here and they look really really nice. Unfortunately they grew out like the whole thing just pushed right out through my skin and left me with scars here. Which are kind of going away now but I mean in eight years. They lasted they lasted maybe like a year, a year and a bit. Generally I'm pretty, I'm pretty lucky with piercings um, staying in place. That was the first time I'd ever had anything grow out. But I understand that this area is particularly notorious for having piercings grow out. So anyway, I miss them very much because I, I do think piercings here look beautiful. I went and got four microdermal anchors put in instead. One, two, three, four. There is actually one of them still there. Partially, it's still in there. It's not much to look at. I'm not going to show you a close up because it's kind of yuck. Just like a random bit of metal poking out of my skin now. It's the base. It's like the base of the piercing, the part that you're not supposed to see. The top came off um, ages ago, and like the part of the base is just like poking out of my skin. Lovely. So three of those four grew out. See, rather strangely, for that one, maybe like a year and a half ago, I decided that I wanted to be symmetrical again. At this point top was still on this one so I went and got the other side pierced um like I got a microdermal anchor on that side to match I just instead of having four I just had one on each side that one didn't last very long either that one probably broke a record and only lasted like two or three months and I was gutted because it's the one that took the chap half an hour to get in because he was piercing through scar tissue on top of scar tissue there was so much bruising it didn't hurt that's what I wanted to say about these collarbone piercings, the ones like when they were up here, they didn't hurt at all. Well, mostly it just felt like someone pushing really hard, it just felt like a lot of pressure, but otherwise it really didn't hurt. These piercings, they really look cool, I think. They don't like being there and they don't really stay. There's a, pierce, there's a body piercer in Wellington and I'm sure there are tons of others elsewhere that won't actually pierce collarbones, they just refuse to do it because it's got such a high rejection rate. So yeah, obviously recently I went and got these done. These are the surface bars again, and they're further down, and I'm, I like them a lot more. I like them that they're a different shape, so that if they did start growing out, whatever, I feel like I could actually just pull them out, because they're, they're not like that. They're like that. Does that make sense? They're, and rather than a 90 degree angle, they're on like a 45 degree angle kind of thing. If you haven't, if you would like to watch me getting those put in, if you don't mind a bit of blah, you can see the video on my channel. Obviously, just got my nose pierced. Love it. It hurt quite a lot. <laughs> the thing about getting your nose pierced is it makes your eyes water a lot all of a sudden. The, would, the piercing that would be the most painful out of everything would have to be, I'd say it was probably honestly like the cartilage piercing. That hurt. <laughs> Followed by maybe the nipple piercings. I don't have anything anywhere else weird on my body. Um, when I get more tattoos, I would think I think it would be really cool to accent tattoos with microdermal anchors. I just think that would look really neat. And the other piercing experience was that time that I pierced my own ear. I practiced piercing a lot of my friends' earlobes. So I started just like buying piercing needles and like piercing my friends' ears. I got kind of good at it, so I tried piercing my own ear, but I sort of screwed it up a little bit. I did it much too close to the cartilage and it just it felt weird. It felt odd. <laughs> so I took it up. 
The only other piercings I would like to have, I'd be kind of tossing up. I know I put a thing on Tumblr quite recently with like a picture of lots of different lip piercings saying, oh, I want some more lip piercings. I'm still not 100% sure on that, that's why I haven't done anything. Like I said, I've got that one in the middle as well, so I've already got three lip piercings. I've got to plan getting some like on the top as well. You know, they called it like angel bites or something. Getting a second lot like next to these ones. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think I should do, if anything? Should I just leave it as it is, or should I get some more? Uh, the piercings that I wouldn't mind having, but who knows, maybe I'll do one day, is like the anti-eyebrow, which is that area just below your eye, like here, and they pierce it there, and I just think those look really beautiful. Because I like to look kind of symmetrical in that respect, I would, if I did one thing, I would have to do it on the other side as well. I used to really want my tongue pierced. I kind of got put off a little bit. If I did get my tongue pierced, I would want two as well, like with like venom bites or something, am I right? I don't know. Where you have like two bars in your tongue. I think that looks kind of neat. I'm going to get some more piercings in my ears this year, hopefully soon. So not enough and you know, I want to be able to wear more earrings. Also, I've decided that once, I'll, I'll go get my belly button pierced when I've lost the weight that I'm trying to lose. So yeah, that'll be something to look forward to. So you know that if you see me get my belly button pierced, you'll know that I'm finally satisfied with my size. <laughs> if you've got any questions about anything I've said or anything that I haven't mentioned that you'd like to know, uh, please go ahead, ask me below, I don't mind, just whatever. Thank you very much for watching, and um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, I make videos twice weekly. Take care of yourselves and be nice to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye!